in these three test tubes, I've got nickel two plus. So this is just nickel two plus. So what's going to be my thickening of this in water? H2O? Yeah, it's going to have, um, it's going to be the hexa-aqua complex. So I've got six water surrounding it. I'm going to try and substitute those waters for other ligands. The first one is EDTA. EDTA, we drew out that was our, yeah, hexadentate ligand. It didn't form six. So, I think it asked me to squirt a bit of EDTA in to uh, the solution. So let's do that and see. So can you see, if I hold this one up, that's gone blue. So I've got a nice blue colour. That is the original there, but I've got blue. So I've seen a ligand substitution reaction which has caused the colour to change. Can you see the colours okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, the next one is going to be uh, hydrochloric acid. So let's get that one out. So I'm going to pop a little bit of... So what ligand am I putting in now? Chloride. Yeah. So at the moment it's green. Can you see that it's changing to yeah. yeah. It's going yellowy. Yellow yeah, it's certainly going yellowy, isn't it? Yeah. Not that much. It's actually different. Not hugely yellow, but if I compare against that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. <coughs> like right, so I've added the chloride ion for that one. And the final one I'm going to add is concentrated ammonia solution which is this one. So this ligand I'm adding in is NH3. NH3. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Now hopefully can you see that that's got a nice blue colour. That's cool. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, dark and dark. Like so. <coughs> but it's definitely a nice, you can still see the green at the bottom where it's not got it. But yeah. Okay, cool. So those were the three with nickel. Um, and we're going to move on to do the ones with copper now. So for this one, I'm going to add some copper sulfate in, which is copper sulfate solution. So again, my ligand for this one is going to be the water. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add to this hydrochloric acid. So I'm going to replace that with the chloride ion. Now this is one that we looked at last lesson. Can anybody remember what colour it was going with? The deep blue? Light blue? So we said it goes from a blue, blue solution to a light blue precipitate? Yeah. yeah, green, isn't it? That's how it's <laughs> green. <laughs> green. green. So green. Yeah. Is this the one that slowly goes? Yeah, yeah. 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 My so that's quite a nice colour change. Is it meant to go yellow? Uh, that one goes yellow, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But it, you can see it is going yellow. Quite a bit more. It's at the greeny stage at the moment. So I add a little bit more and see if we yeah. can get it to go. We need to pull that out and then add some more. Maybe if I can grab it. Yeah, it's going lighter. Maybe not yellow. Maybe at the top it's a little bit. Yeah, that's a pretty, you can definitely see there's a nice colour change there. Um, and the next one we're going to do is copper sulfate with ammonia solution. So for this one, what's the first thing that's going to happen? Oh, copper, I know, copper hydroxide? Yeah, cool. So I'm in a small bit of C happen. Cloudy, pale blue. Blue precipitate. So let's see if we can get this. So the first thing. Ooh, yeah. So if I don't know, you may not be able to see that. But at the bottom, can you see? I mean, the top is where the complex has actually formed of ammonia, it's gone all the way. But at the interface, can you see you've got the. Yeah. The precipitate. Yeah. You have to see that. Yeah. 
happy you've got the... If I do that, can you see I've got a... the precipitate there? Let's see. Oh, you can definitely see there. What I may do is give it a mix up. Yeah, can you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Right, so let's see if we can get that all to go to my deep blue solution. So we're now at excess ammonia. <coughs> oh, there we go. And the light blue precipitate dissolves to give me my deep blue mm. solution. That's pretty, isn't it? Okay, uh, so we've done that, copper sulfate, we have done that. And I think the final one is cobalt to nitrate. And let's add some concentrated sulfuric acid to this one. So I've got my nice pinky colour there. And this one I'm going to add concentrated HCl with. HCl2. So here we go. 